what's going on guys I'm out here camping and I'm making the final kind of my third part of my Chinese diesel heater and today we're actually gonna put it to use I'm gonna actually get to you know see how it works and see if it works for me um, here let me show you how I have it all set up so you guys can see what uh what I did so for now I just have it on my on my table here got my exhaust ran underneath got my power running to my battery box then I have my my hot air going in through the side right here and then got this wire running up here for the for the, basically the controller so that's how I have it on the inside here I have my hot air coming in you know, I got the wire running here for the controller so I could control it what level I wanted to run at. So yeah, tonight's forecast, they're, they're calling for, for some snow, rain. It's supposed to start out as rain around 5 o'clock in the evening. Then it's going to turn to, to snow and it's going to snow throughout the night. So we shall see how it works. Alright, let's do a little experiment. It is basically seven o'clock in the evening my battery box says it's about 81 percent and it's seven o'clock in the evening let's get this thing started get this thing warmed up let it run basically until until I'm up I put a mark on the fuel tank how much fuel it was and we'll uh, see how much it's gonna use up in the, the time that I use it oh, it's starting to rain if you can pick it up on the camera And as far as, like I said, the, the clicking of the of the fuel pump, I don't know. Can you guys hear anything? I hear the rain more than anything. And this is the noise coming out of the vent. I mean, it's nothing, nothing that won't let me sleep, so it's not bad. I know a lot of people are asking me questions on my other videos about that clicking noise, how loud it is, and... Having the heater sitting outside, I I don't even hear it at all. Well guys, the heater worked great last night. I ran it on level one the whole night. I got it on level eight right now since I got all the doors open and looking at the snow here. But yeah, um, I got it warm in the tent, then I turned it down to level one and it kept me warm all night. It was ideal, it wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. And then, you know, you get kind of like the draft going and it mixes and makes it perfect. I don't like it too hot, but I like it warm. And yeah, everything inside the tent is nice and dry, usually for those who camp in the northwest they know that you get that even though things are not wet but you get that moisture on on your like sleeping bag and but man it's all nice and dry in here so i'm gonna get up shut it down and we'll uh take a look at how much fuel it used it's been about uh is 7 18 in the morning so it's been about what 12 hours of running it non-stop so we'll take a look at the battery, see what the, the gauge says as far as the percentage of what's left. And then the fuel. So yeah. Alright guys. 
Let's shut her down. Let's hear a Chinese lady speaking again. Stop heating. Shutting down. So it takes a while for it to burn off, I guess, all the fuel and stuff before it completely shuts off. But I don't know if you can see in the camera here. We're about halfway down. So it took about, a, I would say, half a gallon of fuel for the whole night. Which is for, what, 12 hours of running this nonstop? Half a gallon? I would say that's not bad, but once again, that was... That was running it at basically level one. Alrighty, this thing is completely shut off. Now, it had a few minutes to stabilize the battery. So, let's take a look at what we got. 78%. 12.7 volts. And this indicator is saying the battery is still, you know, full, but... Started at 80, what, 82 last night, and it's down to 78, running it for 12 hours. I would say that's not bad at all. So, here's my consensus on this on this heater. Uh, it works. It does what it needs to do. It's bulky, but I think it's worth having that extra bulk in your car for that comfort it provides. Um... I don't know, with this night running it with just one one hose, I, I don't even know if I'm going to have to need the second one. It puts out enough heat, even if it was a little bit colder, I think it would still be alright. Um, now, if you plan on having something like this for yourself, I would highly recommend you either have a uh, a good battery, like a deep cycle for your main battery, or... If you have a dual setup, or in, like in my case, I have my my battery box, which honestly, one of the best things that I've uh, upgraded or, you know, another piece of gear that I got. It. I was able to charge my phone all night yesterday in the evening while I was hanging around the fire. I had my other camera that I was able to charge, and I don't have to worry about the car. don't have to run it extra for no reason, just, you know. So that works out great. Um, and then, you know, the cost of it is not going to be just, a, you know, 150 or whatever it is online that you see. You're going to have to buy other things to make this work. Like in my case, I ended up buying an extra battery and all the accessories. So this thing ended up going from 150 to, I would say, easily $350 roughly. Uh, with the way that I did it, I mean, maybe you can figure out a cheaper way. If you And if you had, like I said, a dual battery or a deep cycle battery in your car already, you would probably be okay. And I would just recommend that when you're starting this thing up, when it's getting that that uh, heating coil going, and if you're running it off your car, just start the car up. Let it, you know, let it uh, run as it, this thing is getting going. Because once it gets going after, I would say, like five minutes... It doesn't pull any power. It only draws that 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 power right in the beginning when it gets the coil heated and everything you know everything going. So yeah, guys, I hope that helps somebody out who's you know been looking into this. I mean, look at this. I'm in I'm in snow. It was cold last night, and in Oregon and Northwest we get that, like I said, that weird feeling of moisture even though it nothing's wet, since it's so wet all the time in the <laughs> in the woods here. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope, uh, like I said, I hope this helps somebody. And I will catch you guys in the next video.